couldn't morning. help it, I just had to. Good morning. We are here, it is day one at the new spot. And we have, I mean, there's a good 60 plus buses here already and tons more coming. We are surrounded by new friends and current and old friends alike. We have Broccoli Bus 6, Chris from Off Grid Schoolie. Life is a joy over here. Some of these people we saw not too long ago, just up in Oak Ridge, Oregon. Other people, it's been, you know, a, a year. year or so since we've seen them and everybody's coming back together in the middle of nowhere for some schoolie fun. <laughs> If you're looking for tours of buses, tune in to Tiny Home Tours and Steampunk Steve. They are both doing tours. There are gonna be plenty of other videographers and YouTubers and photographers out here, so there should be no shortage of pictures and videos and stories and fun. So even if you're not here, we'll try and bring you along for some of it. Bring you so along for the fun parts, as if you were here. Because sometimes it's not really about touring or going into all of the buses it's about meeting everybody and having great conversations and getting to know like-minded folk that's what schoolie palooza is about we have this nice little courtyard going on here this is where the movie night is going to be right here on the side of aaron and amanda's bus broccoli bus six so we have this nice little area where everybody can kind of come in and hang out there's some lights for the little courtyard feeling it's just a really good place to have so that's where movie night's going to be more and more people just keep pulling in every few minutes Minutes. Lily just went off to meet Chasing Pavement. Wes just showed up with Transcend Existence. Deliberate Life Bus rolled up over here. And the list goes on and on and on. After a year, it's been about a year, mm -hmm. these two are finally here. Locks and Jesse Chasing Pavement. Hi. Welcome Thank to Schooly Palulala. <laughs> 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 Jesse's been up for like 30 some hours now, so he has to go to sleep. But I wanted to catch him and say hello before he fell over and passed out. So, yeah. Wow, look at that rig. That, yeah, I saw that pull in. That one's really cool. Cool. Yeah. I, like I don't even know what that is. There's more people pulling in by the minute. It's going to be massive. Day two. Yesterday I got carried away with work and talking with people and just didn't film a whole lot. There were wonderful fires last night. There was a drum circle. There are community fires everywhere. Just people chatting and meeting people that you know from online that you've never talked to. Sorry, I have dirt in my shoe. We're in the middle of the desert. Tons of more schoolies rolling in. We're already over a hundred buses. We're almost caught up to our numbers that we had last year. So it should be sizable. We keep seeing posts from people that, you know, we're on our way. They're coming from New Jersey and New York and Maryland and Texas and Minnesota. And I mean, the whole country is coming to hang out, including this guy. I don't know if you know him. This is Wes. Transcend existence. Hi guys, my he's, name's Wes. He's also the one that made our incredible sticker that everybody absolutely loves. I don't know I, that you've heard that yet, but I they do. I still need one. I don't have one yet. You can have like a hundred of them. Okay. And, so and Wes brought goats. I did. He's got the only goats at the party. They're the softest, most cuddly, little friendly goats you've ever met in your life. Thank you. Thank you for bringing goats. Goats, two cats, and, and a parrot. A parrot? A parrot. You haven't seen the parrot? No, do you have a pirate hat too? Tell me you have a pirate hat. I need a pirate hat and a patch, an eye patch. Yes. I'm gonna get one. Too. We're gonna have to make that happen. Yet another ugly sunset at Schooly Palooza. It rained a little bit last last night, early this morning, which is like true Schooly Palooza first day. I swear it rains mm -hmm. every Schooly Palooza on the first day, and then it clears up and it turns into amazing sunsets and warm, sunny days. It didn't rain the first year, but this is now three years in a row that it's rained on like the first first day or so. Yeah. We have roughly 130 to 140 buses here right now, and it is only Tuesday. Mm -hmm. There's no way that we're going to be able to 
try and introduce you to them all or even show them all to you. But I really hope you enjoy what it is that we can give you. We are spending so much time talking with people and visiting with new schoolie friends and people that are looking to buy schoolies. And yeah. It's also really cool to watch some people that are like kind of new on the road and this like might be their first time to Arizona mm -hmm. or desert yeah. like this and they're like in awe. They're just blown away at how beautiful it is and how the weather is so amazing and the sunsets are always incredible and and like watching someone else enjoy it for the first time almost makes you enjoy it that much too. Yeah. Hey guys, how's your day? <laughs> it's been great, but we're missing our pee jug. How's from that happen? Our composting toilet. <laughs> so we went on a hike to take the goats on a walk, and I took the pee jug with us from our Nature's Egg composting toilet. And they only hold, you know, about a gallon and a half, maybe two gallons. So we dumped it <laughs> and set it down by a certain rock under this tree and I was gonna pick it up on the way back. So we went on our hike, came back, <laughs> and lo and behold, the pee jug magically disappeared. So somebody out here at Scooby Plus of 2020 has my pee jug. Did Bring you, it back. <laughs> did you at least put a sticker on it? <laughs> I didn't, there's no sticker, there's no nothing. I should have wrote on it. I'm totally putting my sticker on So anyway, pee -jug, yeah, that's how our day's been. Good day number three at Schoolie Palooza. It is a wonderful day outside. It's supposed to be 75-ish today. It's like summer for most of the country. Uh, hey! You vloggers, <laughs> what are you oh, doing with that camera? Vloggers, who is this guy? <laughs> I don't know. We don't know who he is either. <laughs> These two? I didn't even know you guys were here. That's so yeah. great. Surprised everybody. We didn't tell them. How are you? <laughs> it's so good to see you. You too. I'm so glad you made it out. These two said that they weren't sure if they were going to make it out. It's true. And they, we, everybody just, you know, had to peer pressure them into it. <laughs> they were so close. Yeah. Thanks for coming, yeah. Chevy and Hannah. Good morning, gentlemen. Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? I am wonderful. How's your schoolie palooza? How's, just tell me something. It has been wonderful. The people here are so great. There's so much community here uh, that we never really found in our sticks and bricks. So um, let's see, what happened, to, what happened yesterday? Well, we had campfire the last two nights. It was great. It was. <laughs> hey, hey, Richard, and Richard's hey, here. Good to see you guys. This is the, this is the paint of, Aficionado here. He painted the side of his bus, and it looks just looks just like a Woody. It's so cool looking. It, it looks. It does. It looks incredible. It Thanks for coming. What, okay. what do you think comparatively to other get-togethers? And I think Schoolie Palooza is absolutely fabulous. We have over 135 buses last night, and it's a lot of ideas. If you're looking for any ideas for your bus or how to do something, let me tell you, you can walk go through these buses and get every idea in the world. It's really amazing. It's great. Thanks for being here. Oh, thank you, we Jesse. It. I heard your little buzzer early this morning. Was it? Was that you flying your drone? Yeah, I threw yeah. mine up early this morning to see if I could get some wonderful sunrise. There wasn't a lot of clouds, but man, it still looks great. the bathroom situation. I still haven't found my pee Nothing, jug. no word? <laughs> but Jim saved the day. He gave me a milk jug and it fits perfectly. Good. Good. Oh, good. Awesome. That's awesome. Grabbed a couple rocks underneath. We yeah. gotta raise it, gotta raise it, it up a little bit. Somebody's like, I have Wes's leftovers. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why. <laughs> I can't get rid of this. Somebody's got a pee jug. <laughs> I came over to see the parrot in the window, but got distracted by yesterday's uh, Come on, Maisie. events. Come on. It's inside this jug. I'm keeping oh, this forever. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Man, your bus looks like a lot of fun. You know, it always looked like a lot of fun, but now it just looks like yeah, more. That's more fun. Yeah. See? I'm Dustin. I'm Tanya. And we are Road Trip Adventure. We live in a nice little mint green schoolie. Short bus. Short bus. <laughs> That's awesome, then you can always be the cool kids in the back of the bus. Absolutely. That's right. Yeah. Yes, cool kids. And this is the infamous. I don't know why everyone says that. 
Because you are. Well, now that he says it, now we all yeah, know. Now when you are know. to me, anyway. Oh, I, thanks. You know, we love you guys. Too. I love you so much. It's we been, just like to have fun. It's been over a year. Yeah, the community's so great. We just want to meet people and like-minded people all hang out, and we can all get better together. You know, it's not like for you to do good, we have to do bad. So it's cooperation, working together, and uh, this community is so good. Heck yeah. It's nice too, because when people don't care about the buses, they don't come by or talk to us. But when people do like the bus, they say hi and they're, they're interested, and those are the people that we want to meet. Well, I don't know. We liked them way before we even saw their bus. Oh, yeah. So. You know, we we met him hours before we saw the bus. <laughs> I didn't get the photo bomb, Richards. Oh, Richard, oh you want to jump in? Hey, hey, I'm Jim. He's lying too. He's here just to see us. He yeah. he missed us so much that they drove all the way across the freaking country just in to a come year. say hey. A year is way too long. Seriously, it is way too long. I'm missing some others that it's been that long, and it sucks. I need to go. You want to go to Panama? Oh God. Hi. Tons of kids being kids. There are more families and kids and pets than I have seen at any Schoolie Blues. Even last year, we're at about the same numbers right now. And there's, we're just full of families and pets, which is awesome. That's great. That means that you know community is coming together better than you could ever want. You know, I mean that's that's awesome. Nothing better than getting families together and kids together so they can hang out and play. This is how job interviews look <laughs> while at Schoolie Palooza. You know, exactly. just sitting here chatting up job opportunities on I'm the top at work of a bus. Right now. Yeah. While, while a band sets up over on the distance, you know. This is my office. Play. So. That's a horrible office. I know. The view sucks. It really. I know. It's really hard job. So. Best, you want, do you want to tell everybody who you are in case they don't know? Oh, sure. Yeah, I'm Tamara Ramblin' Tam, and um, I do hiring for a wilderness therapy program. If anyone's interested, that's why I'm chatting with Mike here. This is Mike. How's it going? <laughs> do you have a page or anything, Mike? I do not. No, I'm Ooh, not nice. even. I'm not even in a bus, believe it or not. You are truly free from <laughs> from everything. I'm in, I'm in a van. So. Oh, okay. Well. So anyway. Welcome, Mike. But yeah. he's been living the lifestyle for how long? 10 years, a little over 10 years. Yeah. 10 years? Yeah. So he's a veteran. Oh. I'm bowing right now. Yeah. Bow down. Yeah. Yeah. Life's good. Cool. Today Having a good day. Enjoying Schoolie Palooza? Yeah. It's so warm today. Uh, there's no way I could stay in my bus. And, you know, the mobile rock band, you know, how am I supposed to get any work done around here? I don't know, but I love it. Yeah. Nice. Have a great day. <laughs> See ya. Wanda Boomers, We're how are you guys? Just wandering around the desert. Are you guys just living up to your name. That's right. <laughs> Man. Wandering booming. the boom. Wander booming. <laughs> Wander booming. When's the later. when's yeah. the booming happen? Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. That's we don't talk tight. about that in public. Oh, is that what booming? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> my bad. I'm joking. Yeah, I'm on to my sixth job already today. What is it? 2:30. I'm set, on a roll, buddy. Setting records, I'm Bash. on a roll, buddy. I tell you, I'm on a roll. Did you see I slapped the back of your truck? Did you get? You already did. I totally did. You I got, got you. Did? I got you, yeah. sucker. You did too. Yeah, I even look cleaned it that. so it went on right. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I didn't That's ask. That's awesome. I took your advice. I just didn't ask. I just... Exactly. You're slamming on there. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. I like it. Just the outside of the car shop. Oh, really? I got to tell you, I feel like a real ass hat right now. Because <laughs> I'm like. It looks like I'm standing out here trying to get the shot, not just riding up to go get my water bottle. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, I love you, slow down. Hey, guys. <laughs> come on. What's up? What are you doing? I had to come get my water bottle. I left it up here. Just enjoying the Palula La La. Yeah. That's are you enjoying very nice. the Palula La La? Ah, absolutely. Good. Badge come over yet? Badge came over. He, um,. He, he came over for two seconds after I uh, pulled out a light bulb and called it good. And then he's like, yeah, that fixture is bad. And then he left. And I was like, dude, thanks for your help, man. <laughs> Honestly, it was, it was pretty funny. And, I, and then I told him, I was like, hey, man, was that the easiest job you've ever had? He, he was thinking for a minute. He goes, yeah. Yeah, pretty close. <laughs> yeah, well. Pretty close. So There you yeah. go. 
We are at one of the coolest parts of this whole get together every single year. Too Cool for School has this beautiful bus from behind us. They're from Arizona as well. They come down every year and they put on a kids craft thing. It's just a, an art day, craft day. There's snacks, there's paints, there's rocks, there's jewelry things to be made. You name it, if they can think it, they'll help them do it and they do it all free of charge. They just do it out of the goodness of their heart because they're amazing people and we are so happy that they are here every single year. We cannot thank them enough. Let's check it out and see what they're up to today. visitors all day. Grammy and Grampy came down to hang out and check out buses and be dirty and dusty with us. Oh yeah. Yes, <laughs> we are. When we were at Green Bluff in Washington, I picked up this yummy stuff. Butter B is what they call it, so they can negate any lawsuits, but it's butter beer from Harry Potter, but it's actual beer. It's mead. It's incredible. So I've saved this one since then so that I could share it with Dave so I could get his opinion. I drove all the way here almost. Almost all the way home, and you get to. Okay, that means you get to drive all awesome. the way to Skull Butter Valley, beer, huh? and then Smell. I'll drive home. Mmm. What'd you do? Did you hurt your finger? No. No. Oh, I could drink a lot of that. <laughs> so good, right? Oh yeah, so good. Mom, you want to try it? Yes. There's beer. more. I'll give. I'll give you more. Oh, it, yeah. It's beer. It's, it's mead. You're it's gonna, not beer. It's different. It's You're mead. Gonna like it. It's. We might need to spend the night. <laughs> <laughs> this is an Allison AT545, and I am Tony from AAA Bus. Yay. Um, Yay. Tony brought himself, his bus, and his whole crew to Schooly Palooza to do a talk. If you don't know Tony, a uh, AAA bus in Phoenix, a bunch of us got our buses there, and they are an amazing resource to have. They have helped us through thick and thin when we were close by, when we were across the country. They came out just to give people good information on their buses. Great talk. They talked about transmissions, about engine care and maintenance. There was a whole slew of people crowded around taking notes and learning all sorts of things about how to take care of these big old beasts and then afterwards what's that's he do not enough. yeah then he goes and gives 20 bucks to the kids for their rocks that they found in the desert supporting the the locals if you will tony joe he's got a whole crew i can't remember all of their names but thank you he, seriously thank you guys for coming out thank you for sharing the information with everyone it means so much to the entire community and i know it meant a lot to you guys as well not to mention he paid his guys to be there what really yeah oh man That's talk about so the great. best boss ever paid to do a camp out yeah hey come camp and let's talk about buses and hang out and help people and work on buses and have fun that's what i'm thinking i got a deal i'll buy this this and that for 20 bucks what do you think yeah that it yeah. would be exactly 10 five five you think that sounds like a good deal yep. think, of course it sounds that like a deal you guys found them in the wash <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Aaron from Broccoli Bus 6 also did a solar talk. It was really just encouraging people to go through the thought process of what it's going to take to run your bus using solar, how to find the right components for your needs, and how to kind of put it all together. I know you guys haven't seen much from me, but while Tony is talking, it seems like like a good opportunity for me to kind of explain my experience here at Schooly Palooza. I know that Jesse had put a question out there asking what people wanted to see and you know they want to see other people's rigs and some of the conversations and how they got into bus life and oh it's all great information all of it but it's so hard to try and document that while you're here because it's just so many 
good genuine conversations um, it's like instantaneous friends and you talk about you know this that or the other and one conversation leads to another and that's just really kind of a hard thing to film but I would like to try and go around and show you a little bit of what's going on with the crowd um, and just some of the smaller details so here we go looking for tours. I'm sorry we didn't deliver for that, but this is your man. This is Steampunk Steve, and he is working his tail off to make sure that you guys get a tour of everyone's amazing bus. If you haven't checked out his channel, go do so. Not everyone's. Yes, everyone. You have it in your I, I know can't you do. do all 100 and I don't know how many buses are here, but every Saturday on my channel, there's a tour of a different rig, and I'm about to get that one and that one. Yes. I was wondering where all the trouble was hanging out. <laughs> you guys are hiding Steve in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, and it's naked. That's fine. Steve's turning down naked gifts? Yeah. Oh well, we got, we, got, we I thought of Steve because... I, I, I appreciate the offer, but... I just thought it would be funny. Here, have a seat. Just sit. Yeah. Eating popcorn. No, you gotta hold it in front of yourself like this. Yeah, you just put your face in it. There you go. Grab some. That's good. <laughs> keto. Popcorn's not keto? Oh, sorry. All right. Thanks. No. Bye. Run, run away. Yes. Hey, Jax, show hey. us your lock. Oh, gee, funny you ask. I have the key right in my right hand. <laughs> there you go, watch. Bam. Beautiful. So, to me, I mean, I like this system better than a padlock. I've had a padlock. Padlocks to me aren't the prettiest looking thing. They also scream, use a crowbar, take me off. Steal all of my... Yeah, right. Stab your ankles. Good morning, Schooly Palooza, day six. <laughs> Good morning, coffee. Yeah. Last night there was like a, it was like a little mini rave. <laughs> We've learned to sloth high fives.
Man, there's a lot going on. There are so many people here. A lot of people that we've been friends with online for months and months, and now we're all in person, and so and people are friends. stopping by, and new friends, and we're walking around here and there, and you're lucky if you make it, you know, 100 feet that way because you end up in five conversations, and then by that time... They're all great conversations, and you really don't want to yeah, leave them. Exactly. And then Jonah, you know, needs to eat lunch or take a nap. Or we have or, to go to the bathroom. Or, or we need to go take showers or mm. take trash or, you know, make meals because mm -hmm. we need to eat. Mm -hmm. I ate chips and salsa for dinner last night. Mm. You know what I had? Mm. I had two string cheeses and an oatmeal cream pie. <laughs> but man, we're having a blast. So much fun. So many cool buses. So many cool people. So with all of that going on, we're going to finish our fuel for the day and go join some friends. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So what do you guys think of School Palooza? Oh, incredible. Yeah. Beautiful day, Great. nice view. The bread maker's awesome. Yeah, she's all right, that's for I know. sure. She's I, awesome. I love her just a I tiny know. bit. I actually had a guy propose marriage over bread. I can see that <laughs> coming. <laughs> What's up, Anders? Happy birthday, bud. I've been talking a lot about the birthday, and I've been talking. And this is perfect? Yeah. Cool. Cool. Nothing like a perfect birthday. This is the live cake, and this is the dead cake. Live cake and a dead cake? Yeah. How does it feel to be a year older? Good. Good? Yeah? Another successful trip around the sun? Yep. Nice. How's the cake? Does it taste like dinosaurs? Yep. Beautiful. Fossil fuel dinosaur cake. It actually tastes like poop dinosaurs. Ew. But I actually like it. You like poop? Just kidding. Schooly Palooza day six. It is Saturday. It is a gorgeous warm day light breeze keeping everybody nice and cool They ran around and took donations for firewood the other day and got way more than they needed So they're doing a free pizza party for everybody. There's a slew of people up here one more fun community thing going on That's just a good time for everybody. No charge bring a plate bring a chair enjoy yourself Have a good time. That's what it's all about out here Yet another day of Schoolie Palooza rounding out right now. They're wrapping up a raffle which tons of people donated all kinds of crafts and homemade goods and they've been giving stuff away for probably a good 45 minutes now, which is just awesome. Um, and then we're gonna have another movie night tonight with a kid drone giveaway over at our bus, Broccoli Bus, and Chris's bus over in the movie courtyard. It is in the middle of movie night right now. All the kids are out there watching up. They already put their names in this wonderful jar right here. And at the end of this movie, we're gonna give away a drone. But for right now, everybody's just hanging out, having a good time, little little family evening watching a great movie. If you don't love up, you're not human. Talk about this stuff. Oh, I'm surprised sometimes. Maybe I'll surprise you. Well, you can win a lot. I don't see him. So one of our original Schoolie Palooza attendees was not able to make it because his bus broke down, but he was sure to send a drone that he had a little while ago to give away for however we chose, and we chose to give it away in a raffle to the kiddos. <laughs> All right. Everybody thank Aaron first of all because this is his whole setup. How much should I shake it up? As much as you want. Good day, happy seventh day of Schoolie Palooza. Today 
A lot of people are kind of wrapping it up and getting ready to head out here soon. I know some people have obligations. Some people are just ready to mosey. The camp out is technically over tomorrow. Granted, we are on BLM land. It is a 14 day stay before you have to move 25 miles. So there's a decent chance that there are going to be a lot of people hanging around. We wanna make sure and walk over the area and make sure that everything's cleaned up, that nobody's left anything behind, that all the trash is gone, that you know we left it as good or better than we found it. Oh, hello everybody. I just went on a little detour to go save Dean. He buried his truck up at the top of a nice sandy hill trying to turn around. Now I'm driving back going like uh, 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 this because the road is so washboarded. That was fun. I got there, he's nice and stuck. I pull him right out, no problem. Then he goes to turn around and gets stuck again. Then uh, I pull him out from there a little bit. Then he gets real stuck. <laughs> and you know, my, you know, any more stuck, it might slide down the hill kind of thing. So that was fun. I'm now covered in dust and dirt and sand. I was, I had the window down talking to Dean at the same time that I'm trying to pull him out. <laughs> and I hit the gas and just shot sand and dirt through this window all in my face, down my shirt. The inside of the Jeep is definitely not any cleaner than it was to begin with. It's a good thing we didn't clean it before we came out to Ehrenberg. So now I'm on my way back to camp, get cleaned up a little bit and enjoy the last official evening of Schooly Palooza. Steampunk Steve of Palooza. What do you think of Schooly Palooza this year? Uh, definitely bigger, and there's a, a ton of interesting buses. You know, I'm gonna rank this one one to five. This is a solid five. Thanks for your help with the site we didn't use. <laughs> Next year, Next I year. got a brilliant spot for this thing. Schooly Palooza 2020, huge win. Thanks yep. for coming, man. It was a good time. Same here. Same yeah. with you. Whatever. A week long of a, a week of exhausting fun. Right. Yep. And now I get to go build another bus for somebody. He made it! Thank goodness. I don't know what we would have done. What's up? Oh. I got you oh. something. Oh my god. Oh my god. We love you so much. That's the last thing I need, but thank you. You gonna hold it? Yeah. Okay. What do you really say? Heavy. Dean's Goodbye. been missing you all day. God. See you later. <laughs> Somebody finally talked him into coming over here to say hey. Hey. Yeah, I'll be there in like a few days a week ago. Look, I made it though. I'm right here. It's good to see you, bud. <laughs> I'm glad you're you, here. Let me give me a hug. <laughs> Seriously, good to see you, good man. Good seeing you, man. It's been a year. A whole year. Until Hello. next time. Until next time, bro. It's good to see you. Thanks for coming, man. Thanks for having me. See you guys. <laughs> see you, bud. Like 12 hours. Actually, less than that. I'm going to run back and forth and get the different vehicles, so. Oh, all right. Do you need no, a shuttle? Gonna, it's like interval training, running, or whatever, just back oh, and forth. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Just, just trying to make it halfway fun. Okay. Talk about using yeah. it to your benefit, man. What? What's up? I said talk about using it to your benefit. That's life, right? Yeah. All right. I'll see you guys over there. So inspiring. Oh, yeah. Write it down. Schooly Palooza 2020. Just like that, it's over. It's incredible how fast it goes by. I mean, it's you're exhausted because it's such a long week. And enthralled with all of the faces and friendship and conversations. Oh my goodness. If you can't tell from this video, we had a great time. But then as soon as it started, it's over somehow. Yep, Schooly Palooza time. Yep. So hopefully we'll see you guys next year. Thanks for watching. If you know someone who might be curious about us bus folk tramping around in the desert, then please share this video with them. And you know, the good old YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, leave us a comment. We want to hear from you. What do you think of the video? What do you think of the other videos? There's so many Schooly Palooza videos. That's great. We're just trying to bring you a piece of how it was for us. Ex action. Experiencing Schooly Palooza from, you know, just everyday life. Yeah. So thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time. We have some questions from you to the people at Schooly Palooza. That'll be the next video though.
I just you got even get something there. Mm, that's a little salty. The Ooh. dust makes my nose run. That's love right there. I tasted it. You got something on your face here. Cause you just licked me. I wonder what it is. Hey everybody, Schoolie Palooza 2020. Ah. So, guys, I never found my pee jug. I'm pretty sad about it. It meant a lot to me. I, I had many peas in that thing and it was pretty dear to my heart. But uh, luckily, Dan and Alyssa brought me a brand new pee jug. They had an extra one and they brought me one from their bus, the Lucky Bus. You're happy about this, aren't you, Juju? So anyway, <laughs> Thank you so much to uh, Dan and Alyssa for bringing me a new pee jug. It's been in good use. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thanks you, for bringing all the entertainment. Oh, you bet. We got the goats and the birds and the cats. <laughs> it's perfect. All right, see you guys.